Today's video is going to be about adjusting temperature of the Moen shower diverting valve. Uh, it has this special p uh, feature called Posse temperature pressure balancing valve. Uh, it keeps water temperature constant while other people in the house run water. So you can enjoy your shower without sudden burst of hot or cold. Uh, and it's very easy to do. All you have to do is these two pieces of plastic. It has um, teeth, gear marks, and you adjust it, you know, to fine tune it. You might have to open and close multiple times um, to see what temperature works for you. You get started with an Allen key, as you see on the video. Uh, you know, you have to get the handle off. That's the most important part. part. Uh, once you get the handle off, you would have access to the uh, plastic pieces where you could make adjustment to. So before I did this, um, the valve was set so that I could have cold water and I could have hot water. There was no blending going on. But after using it for a while, I realized that, you know, I need to have the water already pre-blended. So now, once I got this set up, I figured I'd make a video and show you how all this is done. Uh, so you could also benefit and I'm really liking it. So what I do when you go to the shower, you turn the handle to to extreme right to the hot. And you know what? The hot water is not coming in. It, it's the blended water that you set. It's coming up. Uh, it's very convenient, especially if you have kids at home. You don't have to worry about anybody getting burned uh, you know, with the hot water. So what you have to do is once you get this set, you turn the valve all the way. The temperature stays controlled. It stays balanced. So whatever temperature that is that you're comfortable with. So my um, water heater temperature is about 120 degree. And this one, uh, the way after I said, it feels about, you know, 70 degrees or maybe less. I didn't measure the exact temperature. Uh, if you're still watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share with your family and friends. Uh, it will help with, you know, with the channel. I really would appreciate that. So all you have to do is take the screw out. It comes out as easy as you saw. It's not really complicated. It's very simple. And when you take it out, just be careful. You know, take one pieces at a time. There's only three pieces together. Uh, some valve that's not more in might be slightly different, but they're all similar in style and design. So you see, uh, I'm just taking it off to show you that you could move it at different angle. It has teeth. If you look inside, it has teeth that you could move it whatever position you want it in. So once you have that in place, once you have that d decided, you know, you put it back, you put the screws back, you put the handle back and you control the, te you control the valve to see if the temperature that you adjusted to, um, you know, you're comfortable with. So you see those two tabs, they stay separate or you could even have them on top of each other, whatever works for you, but don't force it. It's plastic, you know, once you have it in place, Make sure it goes in. It doesn't stick out or anything like that. And another most important thing is you, not, you need to be careful with your shower drain. Make sure it's closed or you cover it with something so that screws, when you take them off, if by chance it falls off your hand uh, or your tool falls off your hand, you don't want it to end up in the drain, then you will have a bigger problem. You see the hole? I'm testing out the screw because that's where the handle is going to go. The screw is going to go through the hole. At this point, we're ready to go ahead and install the handle. Uh, after that, we're going to test it to see if it actually works or if the handle comes off or not. It's not supposed to. We followed all the instructions as you can. Um, you know, everything looks good over here. Um, and the handle has this Allen key. Uh, you know, just be careful. Uh, you saw I was demonstrating earlier where the screw is going to go through the plastic into the handle. And the handle has thread and it just, uh, you know, tying up the set screw. We are ready to test the water and the handle. Make sure it's nice and firm and the water is coming out and the temperature is what we want it to be. Thank you for watching. I hope you find the video useful.